Welcome to the gritty world of angels with Dirty Faces, a 1938 classic that unfolds in the shadows of urban turmoil. Starring some of Hollywood's finest, the narrative grips you from the start, leaving you pondering which classic actor steals the show for you. The movie packs a punch with moments that range from funny to shocking to downright sad, so keep your eyes peeled for the twists. Have you ever wondered which classic Hollywood actor in this film became your favorite? Or perhaps there's a particular scene that etched its mark on you. Share your thoughts below. We're eager to know what resonated with you in this timeless tale. As you reminisce about this cinematic gem, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to angels with dirty faces? Drop your stories and memories in the comments. We would love to hear from you. Get ready for a roller coaster of emotions, intriguing characters, and unexpected turns. Your journey into the world of angels with dirty faces promises to be an unforgettable one. Keep watching and let the stories unfold. Angels with Dirty Faces is a notable gangster film from 1938 that has left a lasting impression on viewers. Starring James Cagney, the movie revolves around the character Rocky Sullivan, a notorious gangster with a defiant attitude and a significant influence over the town. The film also features strong performances from Pat O'Brien, Anne Sheridan, Humphrey Bogart, George Bancroft, and the Dead End Kids. The plot follows the life of Rocky Sullivan and his childhood friend turned priest, Father Jerry Connolly, played by Pat O'Brien. As Rocky navigates the criminal underworld, Father Jerry attempts to steer him away from corrupting the younger generation. Humphrey Bogart takes on the role of Rocky's lawyer, Jim Frazier, adding depth to the narrative. Cagney's portrayal of Rocky Sullivan is compelling, stealing every scene he's in. The movie effectively captures the essence of New York City's Hell's Kitchen in the 1930s, portraying the grit and challenges faced by its characters. Notable scenes include an intense pharmacy assassination attempt and a well-known confrontation between Rocky and Father Jerry. The supporting cast, including the Dead End Kids, adds to the film's overall impact. The basketball sequence with the kids, the atmospheric pool room scenes, and the emotionally charged moments, such as Rocky's staged fear of the electric chair, contribute to the movie's resonance. While the film provides a vivid depiction of the era's urban landscape and societal challenges, some viewers may find the character development of Rocky's main love interest to be lacking. Nevertheless, the overall narrative, performances, and memorable scenes make Angels with Dirty Faces a classic worth watching. In conclusion, Angels with Dirty Faces stands as a testament to the captivating storytelling of Warner Bros. in the realm of gangster pictures. It effectively portrays the dynamics of friendship, corruption, and redemption, making it a timeless addition to the world of cinema. This review aims to provide a clear and accessible overview for those unfamiliar with the movie. In the third installment featuring the Dead End Kids, the 1938 movie explores a gritty narrative. James Cagney's collaboration with Humphrey Bogart marked the beginning of a trilogy. To portray the character Rocky, Cagney drew from his upbringing in New York's Yorkville, a rugged neighborhood near Spanish Harlem. His inspiration, a drug-addicted pimp, left an indelible impression. In his autobiography, Cagney reflected on incorporating the pimp's mannerisms into the film, a choice that continues to resonate with Impressionists over 30 years later. These raw details provide a glimpse into the authentic roots of the characters. The Dead End Kids, known for their unruly behavior, caused havoc on the set of angels with dirty faces. Their impromptu actions, including ad-libbing and even stealing Humphrey Bogart's trousers, disrupted the filming process. Surprisingly, James Cagney, drawing on his street smart toughness, swiftly put an end to their antics with a firm response to one of the kids' ad libs. Roland Brown originally crafted the film's storyline as a project for James Cagney at Grand National Pictures. However, due to contractual changes and Warner Bros. intervention, the scriptwriting duties shifted to John Wexley and Warren Duff, with Michael Curtis taking on the directorial role. And this transition reflects the dynamic nature of the film industry during that era. Interestingly, John Mills, preparing for a role in a London production of John Steinbeck's Of Mice and Men, watched Angels with Dirty Faces numerous times to refine his American accent. This showcases the film's impact even beyond the American borders. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes shed light on the challenges and dynamics during the making of Angels with Dirty Faces. Such insights into the film's production contribute to its broader cultural influence. 
James Cagney's portrayal of Rocky and Angels with Dirty Faces drew inspiration not only from a drug-addicted pimp, but also from his childhood friend, Peter Buda Hessling. Buddha's execution in the electric chair left a profound impact on Cagney, who, while performing on Broadway, learned of his friend's fate and wept. The film includes a notable montage featuring a storefront bombing, a scene cleverly repurposed from the public enemy, showcasing the interconnectedness of the era's cinematic elements. Roland Brown initially crafted the film's narrative, but subsequent revisions by John Wexley and Warren Duff brought powerful treatments. The screenplay, characteristic of the time, proved insubstantial, prompting actors, including Cagney, to improvise on set to patch up the gaps. The collaborative efforts of these actors highlight the challenges faced during the production of such films. The dynamic nature of script revisions mirrors the catch-as-catch can approach prevalent in that filmmaking era. In the world of angels with dirty faces, the impact transcended geographical borders. John Mills, preparing for a role in a London production, studied the film repeatedly to refine his American accent, showcasing the movie's influence on an international scale. These behind-the-scenes insights provide a raw and unfiltered look into the film's production, contributing to its broader cultural influence. It's a testament to the creativity and adaptability required in the multifaceted world of 1930s filmmaking, where scripts were often molded on the fly by the actors themselves. Amidst the controversy surrounding gangster films, angels with dirty faces faced outright bans in Denmark, China, Poland, Finland, and parts of Canada and Switzerland. This reaction underscored the film's gritty narrative, exploring themes that stirred debates and restrictions globally. The movie's influence extended beyond the silver screen as Lux Radio Theater broadcasted a 60-minute radio adaptation on 5022-39 with James Cagney and Pat O'Brien reprising their roles. This radio adaptation broadened the impact of the film, reaching audiences beyond the visual medium. A pivotal moment in the movie, where Rocky compels a trailing hood to take his place in a pharmacy phone booth, draws inspiration from the real-life killing of notorious New York gangster Vincent Mad Dog Call. The film skillfully recreates the chilling events of Call's demise in a gang war with Dutch Schultz, capturing the tension and danger of that era. Such stark and impactful scenes contributed to the film's notoriety, transcending geographical boundaries. The bands and radio adaptations stand as testaments to the film's controversial yet influential presence in the 1930s cultural landscape. James Cagney and Pat O'Brien collaborated on the sixth of their nine films together in Angels with Dirty Faces. Set in 1920 and 1938, the movie explores gritty themes that sparked global debates and restrictions. Notably, it found a place in popular culture, with its title referenced in Home Alone and its sequel. The film captures pivotal moments in the gangster era, drawing inspiration from real-life events such as the demise of notorious gangster Vincent Mad Dog Call. This chilling scene, along with others, contributed to its notoriety and led to outright bans in several countries, underlining its controversial yet influential presence. Beyond the silver screen, the movie made its mark on the airwaves with a 60-minute radio adaptation featuring James Cagney and Pat O'Brien. This broadcast broadened its impact, reaching audiences beyond the visual medium. In the intricate landscape of 1930s filmmaking, script changes were common, as seen in its transition from Roland Brown to John Wexley and Warren Duff. The dynamic nature of script revisions mirrors the catch-as-catch-can approach prevalent in that filmmaking era. Such behind-the-scenes insights provide a raw and unfiltered look into its production, contributing to its broader cultural influence. As Cagney's portrayal of Rocky draws from real-life influences, including a drug-addicted pimp and a childhood friend, the film weaves a narrative that transcends geographical borders. It's evident in John Mills' effort to refine his American accent for a London production by repeatedly studying the movie. In conclusion, this product of the dynamic 1930s filmmaking era left an enduring impact both on and off the screen, shaping debates, sparking bands, and influencing audiences worldwide.